today I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest books that I've ever read and it's The Secret History by Donna Tartt. You ready? Let's go. and welcome to the channel. In this channel I love to talk about books and films and all the things that I love and hopefully that might inspire you and resonate with some of you and hopefully you'll click subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. But let's get into this amazing novel. Whew, this book, if you've not read it then you are in for a real treat. psychological thriller then this book might just be up your street. This exquisite novel deals with themes such as guilt, jealousy, manipulation and social class and though some may call it a slow burner the story has a unique ability to capture you from the prologue and seduce you all the way to the very end. Considered a modern classic, The Secret History was first published in September 1992. And from the very first page, we know that a murder's been committed, but we also know who's done it. Set in the 1980s at an elite liberal arts college in Vermont, New England, the story is narrated by Richard Papin and it's several years later after the murder and Richard is reflecting on the events that led up to the death of his friend Bunny. Richard is from a working class background and he's from Plano, California. He feels like a total outsider and when he arrives at Hampton College on a scholarship in ancient Greek, he's immediately taken with a group of wealthy students enrolled on the Greek Classics program. group from afar, Richard one day plucks up the courage to approach the group in the library. And it's here where he fabricates a more privileged background, he's a bit of a liar, <laughs> in the hopes to fit in with their clique. After Richard helps them with a translation, the group eventually warms up to him and they give him advice about how he can join the Greek Classics program. But Richard finds he can't enrol in the group because the professor, Julian Morrow, he limits the enrolment to a hand-picked clique of five students. Eventually, after several meetings with Julian, Richard is finally accepted into the group. But this is where things start to get really, really weird. And Richard's new friends are not exactly what they seem. There's Henry, an intellectual genius with a passion for Homer and Plato. The secretive twins, Charles and Camilla, whose intimate relationship raises a few eyebrows. There's the red-headed Francis, whose family owns a secluded house in the countryside, which later becomes sanctuary for the group. And then lastly, there's the annoying joker of the pack, Bunny, whose big mouth eventually lands him in big trouble. If you didn't know, Donna Tartt is also the author of The Little Friend and The Amazing Goldfinch. In The Secret History, there's an intellectual quality to the prose that will appeal to scholars. But there's also a Dickensian realness in the characters that speaks to you on a human level. And even though you might not agree with some of the characters and what they do, they all have relatable qualities, good and bad. Every sentence Donna Tartt writes is with purpose and heart. And you can't help but feel the beauty and at times the terror in our words. One particular quote I love from The Secret History is when Richard is describing the lovely Camilla. He says, but strange and marvelous as she was, a wisp of silk in a forest of black wool. She was not the fragile creature one would have her seen. 
Just reading that now gives me chills. This book will leave you transfixed and sad that it's over. You'll be under its spell for days, if not years. And like me, you might even feel compelled to download the audiobook, just so you're one step closer to the beating heart of Donna Tart. And then you'll have Donna Tart's voice in your head, and then maybe in your dreams, as you toss and turn, reflecting on the characters and their individual flaws. You'll no doubt remember Bunny and his untimely death and the horrors that came with it. And the next time you go for a walk alone in the countryside, you'll be sure to check who's behind you. So that brings me to the end of this video. If you've read The Secret History, then let me know in the comments what you think. And if you're about to read it, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video where we go into the unknown.